Hey ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is my experience with Comcast trying to use my own modem. I currently have the dual modem router combo. I believe it's called, oh, I don't know the name of it. But it's their typical modem router phone uh, combination router. It's a piece of shit. We all know this. But so I decided to buy a TrendNet. TEW639GR version 3, it's a 300 megabit per second gigabit router and uh, connections between computers on the same network are great. They're absolutely fast, wonderful, whatever. I love the router. The modem, on the other hand, does not like the router. It will not work well with the router, with the router and I'll show you. This is the second, I, know, I damn sure know it's not the router because this is the second Mode or second router that I've used, I tried a D-Link uh, N300, which is a DIR655, brand new, and it was giving me the same issues, except at the time I was having IPv6 issues, and it was all it wouldn't, it couldn't even use the router. It wouldn't when the router was hooked up, internet wouldn't work at all. I had to go back to the motor router dual, which totally sucks because the Wi-Fi signal is so bad that if I'm in my living room, the room right next to my bedroom, I have almost no signal at all. If I go to the kitchen, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, yeah, 15 feet down the hall to listen to music while I'm doing some dishes or whatever I'm doing, I, it's, I can't use it. Oh, give me that. I don't know why it popped up, but uh, I have the trend net hooked up right now, and I'm gonna do a speed test. And just for your, uh, this is the the server I should be connecting to because I live in Flint, Michigan, right there. So I should be connecting to Detroit. That's what I always get connected to. Why I'm getting to Detroit or down to New Jersey, I have no fucking idea. Hey, look, speeds aren't bad. Except I pay for 105, which I usually get like 126. Right off the bat, speeds are slower. Woo ho. And the upload will be fine. That's usually 124.6 or something like that. So, screw that. Yeah, my, uh, my IP address says I live in New Jersey. Oh, give me that. What is my... Uh, so... 68-37-77-90 To make sure it's not a conflict with the modem, here's the modem. 68-37-77-90 So the modem is... This is the, uh, the IP address that the modem is using. Let's see if it'll tell me where I live. Usually says, uh, saying it's New Jersey, which is wrong. Yep, see, New Jersey. All of them are saying New Jersey, which is why I'm getting connected over here. But I don't. I live about hundreds of miles away from this area. And this is the router, TrendNet. I have it on a DMZ because I was trying to see if it would be any different being on a DMZ than on bridge mode because the bridge mode on this I wasn't sure if it was actually working right so I have that disabled and have the router on a bridge uh, DMZ but it doesn't matter the speeds are the same when I go to let's say I want to download this is my normal speed is about 14 megabytes a second. It's only 4.1 because that's what it's been since I restarted my computer, but it's usually 14 to 15 depending on how fast it wants to go. And it's been like that for about a year. Not much deviation. I install the router. It's going about 3.7, 3.8. Hey, let's go. Let's go try and browse a web page real quick. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's go to YouTube. What the hell? Oh, hey, look. Resolving host. 
Why isn't my web page up yet? Hmm. This is taking significantly longer than it should. Like, you know, this is taking forever. Oh, hey look, it might actually load up. Oh, no, web page is not available. Damn, still loading. Still fucking loading. Oh, is it still downloading though? Yeah, 4.1 megabytes a second. Only uh, one fourth of what it's supposed to be. You know, but hey, who am I to complain? So we'll go ahead and pause that. As soon as I d pause it and refresh, boom, hey, look at that. It's all backing up and running. But if I do a speed test, see, I'll do a Detroit. What the hell? Why not? Let's do a Detroit one. Oh, 114, 115. That's a little higher than it's supposed to be. Or what the other one said. What's going on there? Yeah, that's the speed I'm usually getting. And that's more than 4 megabits a second. That's more than 8. That is more than 10 megabytes a second. And yes, I know, that's megabits. Megabytes is that. There's difference. But my download speed is usually 14 megabytes. Or my download speed through what they advertise it is usually 120 megabits. So let's go ahead and disable the router. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to connect the modem directly to the computer. So I'm going to turn this off. Or unplug the router, modem. Let's see if I can drag that. Ooh, hey, look, it reached. Holy crap. Well, I wasn't sure it would do that. Let's try and disable this. There we go. Swap cables. Power cycle the modem real quick. But I didn't even need to do that because it's not in bridge or it's not in bridge mode. What am I thinking? Yeah, yeah. Prism with request because the router is no longer hooked up. It's just going to take a little bit for this to finish its thing of a reboot, which I totally did not need to do, didn't need to do, but, oh, you be quiet, big old baby. Yeah, what do you know? I'm used to power cycling it every time I swap something out of this thing. Still going. That would be my dog. The most lazy piece of crap dog on the planet, but I love him to death. Oop. Online button's blinking. It must be doing something fancy schmancy. The sarcasm is high with this one. Oh, telephone which I'm having disabled tomorrow because you know fuck Comcast telephone nobody needs that crap they assigned my phone number to somebody else twice in one year it took me three months to get that all straightened out and I still get phone calls for the people they gave it to about that for service well it's almost ready Oh, it says I'm online, but I'm going to wait a minute because I know better. We'll just put in uh, new egg. Let it be our buffer. Oh, hey, look, that was fast. Let's try a speed test real quick. Why is it still saying I'm in New Jersey? That's weird. Alright, we're directly connected to the modem. Ooh, 126. See? Yeah, that's what I usually get. 
This is what I usually get capped out at, 125, about, right about there. So insignificant of a margin of error, it's not even noticeable. So that's what I'm supposed to be getting. Alright, we're going to cancel that out real quick. We're going to go over here to do a download for a real second. See what it says. Ooh, it's already 4.7. 6.7. 8. Mm, look at that. 9. 10. Oh, it's still going. Look at that. It's still going up. 13.5, 13.8, 14. Look at that. See if it'll go any higher. About 14.2. Yeah, that's normal download speed for me. If I'm directly connected to the modem. Hey, look. While that's all download, 14.6. Let's go and try and open a web page. Let's close that out and treat a. Try to reload it. Hey, look at that. That was pretty quick. Hey, let's watch a Ultimate Walking Dead recap. What the hell? Look at that. Your friendly neighborhood and it's still downloading. It. 13. Look at that. I can still browse the web. Ooh, let's do a new egg. As our buffer. Boom. Look at that. I can still surf around. It's still going fast. But I couldn't do that with the router. As soon as I hooked up the router, it took a shit. How about that? I have no idea what causes this. I've I've run out of ideas on how to solve it. I've tried everything. So please, if anybody knows how to fix this, let me know. For the love of God, it's driving me crazy. I need good wireless signal, and this modem does not give it. It is garbage. I hate it. I, uh, I don't know what to do anymore. So, anybody, please, for the love of Christ, if you can think of a solution, please give it to me.